till now we have seen how to create tables without constraints simple tables inside the database how to create but the constraints these con constraints you got to practice and you will understand them over time one of the most confusing constraint is the check constraint because you can define different types of values or different types of conditions inside the check constraint all right so this table mm -hmm. okay you can see we have one books table and we have members table okay we know that in a primary key and a foreign key relationship let me write fk that's foreign key in foreign key relationship when you are trying to create tables the parent table must be created first okay so that's the reason we are creating the books table first and then we'll be creating the members table because the book id column under the members table it refers to the book id column in the books table so if the books table does not exist then it will be hard to create the members table all right so what we will do is we create the books table and the create statement there are little bit changes to it create table table name then you give the column name the data type till this part it's all same it's a simple table but after this you have to give a space you have to specify the constraint keyword over there that means you are trying to define the constraint then give the constraint name because inside your database it makes easy to identify the type of constraint that is being assigned to this column if you do not give a constraint name oracle will assign an arbitrary name that does not help you identify the constraint as to which column it belongs it's very hard so don't follow that strategy or don't follow that way of naming or and giving constraint names so let me give me a minute i'm trying to give you an example where without using constraint name also you can create the table so you can give something like this create table books the column name data type and directly the constraint name that means primary key the same goes with this one so next you can define the column name title the data type and the constraint that's not null and then category var char2 and we are not defining any constraint to the category column all right so don't follow this method guys when you see google when you see lot of examples you will see people are directly creating the constraints it's okay not at all a problem but from a dba perspective like as i am a dba if you create some tables like this i might get angry at you because you are not following the conventions that are supposed to be followed as a dba it should make my job easy because we can check all the constraints inside the database so when i see this constraint name as books_pk underscore i can say that okay it's a primary key constraint on the books table it makes my life easy as a dba so to keep your dba happy you have to give the constraint names also let's take you don't give a constraint name and if you create a table like this the oracle will assign a constraint name something like this i'm giving you some examples okay now by looking at this name i cannot tell which table which column what type of constraint it is so don't follow this method all right so the best idea is you define the keyword constraint give a name give a name to the constraint that is meaningful like books_pk underscore i can see and say that okay it's a primary key on books table and then define the constraint that's primary key all right so book id column will is now defined as a primary key so what are the properties of a primary key it will have all unique values and no null value allowed inside the table perfect the second column is title var char 230 that's the size constraint title underscore nn so by looking at this constraint name i can say that okay it's title column underscore not null if you want to be more creative you can say like this books 
अंडर स्को टाइटल अंडर स्को एन एन सो टेबल नेम अंडर स्को कॉलम नेम अंडर स्को दी कंस्ट्रेंट टाइप एंड देन टाइप योर कंस्ट्रेंट दैट इज नॉट नल विच मीन्स एट एनी गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन यू आर इंसर्टिंग रिकॉर्ड इफ यू इंसर्ट नल वैल्यू इन टू दाइटल कॉलम द डेटा बेस शुड नॉट एक्सेप्ट द रिकॉर्ड नेक्स्ट इज कैटेगरी कॉलम and the category column has no constraints to it that means you can insert null value all right so in a foreign key constraint the parent table needs to be created first right next we are trying to create the members table under members table we see that member id the data type the constraint name is member underscore pk because that's the primary key and then your constraint type that is primary key right this is the second column that's var char 2 14 and there is no constraint assigned to it next we have book id number 4 the constraint is members underscore books underscore id underscore foreign key that's a very good naming convention so that by looking at this constraint name i can say that this book id column is referenced to book id column in the books table and how it's done so the constraint is references okay so i'll i would actually make some changes over here rather than foreign key the exact keyword that you use inside the database is references okay just to make sure you are clear about it so we don't write something like foreign key the keyword that we use to refer to a table or a column in a different table is references so book id column members underscore book id this is the constraint name it references to the table name and under brackets you have to give the column name so this method forces a foreign key relationship between this book id column and this book id column right then phone this is the column the size of the phone column is 10 it's numeric the constraint is phone number and we are forcing a not null value all right the email varchar to 30 constraint is email underscore uk that is unique key and the constraint name is unique so under email we want to have unique values also it can accept null values because we know that unique key column can accept null values as well so somebody who's not having an email perfectly okay and no two emails will be same inside this column right this last part is little bit tricky guys you have to understand this before i explain you what it is see the easiest way to define constraint is as you give the column name and data type give a space and define the constraint okay very easy method the same we have done with title column in one line we have defined the column name data type and constraint right same goes with member id member name book id phone email now there is a challenge let's take you want to define multiple constraints on same column in this case what you do is like can you see this email the first constraint we are defining is unique key it has to be a unique key also in the email column i want to make sure that we have at the rate symbol and also a dot symbol right so what we do is we put a comma and define the second constraint you can do it very well okay so in this case what we are doing is email we have first define it as unique then give a comma define your second constraint and whatever the constraint name is if you see this email underscore ck that means there is a check constraint created on the email column so what is the check constraint that we want to force so guys these check constraints are very simple you can define values by comma separated values like yes comma no or male comma female or you can even be more creative by using the sql functions okay so instr function if you remember instr function it checks 
whether one string is inside another string or not. So what we are checking over here is under the email value, whatever the value that you will be inserting into the column. So that value will be put over here. So let's take, I am inputting something like this, Arun at the rate gmail.com. So this is the insert statement. This is the value that is coming from the insert statement. So before Oracle inserts the value inside the email column, it will check the value. So it will input this value over here. It will replace the email with the actual email coming in from the insert statement. So instead function, it will check whether it has at the rate or not. Okay. So if it is having at the rate, the instead function will return yes or no. So the yes or no is returned in the form of one and zero. Okay. So the instead function, it will return one because in this email we have at the rate. Now this one is greater than zero, correct? So this part of the equation is satisfied and we are using another instead function in the email we are checking whether we have dot or not so in this email we have dot so instead function will return as one because it's true and we are comparing whether this value is greater than zero correct so if this value is greater than zero that means it's true so this part is true and this part is true that means once both these conditions are met because we have an and condition it is not an or condition and means both the side of the equation must be true and then only the check constraint will pass and once the constraint passes then only you are able to insert record into the database or the table all right so now we have seen some constraints let us create these tables inside the database if you remember i have already created these database in our join session because we were trying to see the joins so what i'll do is for for simplicity purpose i'll create books underscore one and members underscore one so let us create the books table first books underscore one name already used by existing constraint now can you see in the books table just to make sure like for your understanding i i'm going back to the joins article on the website and i just want to show you that these are the same tables that i created earlier because i copied those create table statements from our oracle joins article can you see over here create table books I have put constraint as primary key. Okay, there is no constraint on title. I wantedly put a not null constraint over here. Now let us look at this one. Can you see the book ID constraint members books ID FK references books underscore I mean book ID column, right? So these are the same tables. What I would encourage you to do is try to create these tables for now for simplicity purpose let me just change these constraint name i'm putting underscore one in front of all the constraint names just to save some time so that it will be pretty fast and then we'll create these tables first always create the parent table Can you see books underscore one is created? All right. So first parent table has to be created, then create the child table. Members underscore one is created, right? 